Hi everyone, welcome to the CME on the role of Medineuron NTD in high risk pregnancy. I am Dr. Smita, pharmacologist from Chennai. So what is this high risk pregnancy? Any pregnancy which involves increased health risk or complication either to the mother or fetus or both either during pregnancy or childbirth is referred to as high risk pregnancy. So the prevalence of Indian women for high risk pregnancy is about 49.4 percentage. The indicators of high risk pregnancy it is maternal age which is less than 17 or more than 35 years when there is history of preeclampsia or history of stillbirth post term pregnancy or HISO immunization and history of previous cervical incompetence. So our product Medineuron NTD soft gel it contains docosahexanoic acid DHA, L-methylfolate, methylcobalamine, vitamin D3 and pyridoxal phosphate. So docosahexanoic acid DHA what is its role in fetal brain or neuronal development? It is one of the major polyunsaturated fatty acid which constitutes 15 percentage of the major fatty acids in the human frontal cortex. So this DHA in the first trimester of pregnancy, it increases angiogenesis in the placental thromboplast. It also decreases reactive oxygen species activation. It decreases pro-inflammatory gene expression. It increases immunocompetence. So in the third trimester of pregnancy, in the fetus, it increases neurogenesis, neuronal survival, synaptogenesis, it decreases ROS that is reactive oxygen species, it decreases pro-inflammatory gene expression, it increases neuroproductive gene expression. According to the FOXI guidelines 2021, this DHA is very essential for neuronal development of the baby as well as it prevents the preeclampsia and also preterm birth with very less adverse effects. So, when compared to the DHA, it causes early placentation because it enhances angiogenesis in the placental tropoplast by FATP that is fatty acid binding proteins or the transporter proteins. Failure of this placentation, it results in uteroplacental ischemia which results in premature rupture of the membranes or preeclampsia and preterm birth. Coming to the clinical evidence of this particular DHA, in the status of pregnant women for preeclampsia and preterm birth, the study was done in 104 pregnant women in Jakarta where they were divided into three groups that is normal pregnancy group and also severe preeclampsia and preterm birth groups. So in these three groups soon after delivery when the maternal DHA is measured by mass spectrometry method we could see the DHA percentage is very low in preeclampsia and preterm birth groups when compared to the normal pregnancy outcome groups. In another study where vitamin D status and preeclampsia was evaluated in a meta-analysis study where it included 10 randomized control trial and 24 observational studies, this 25 hydroxy vitamin D deficiency group it showed an increased risk of preeclampsia with an odds ratio of 4.3 whereas the vitamin D supplemented groups it have a lower risk of preeclampsia with odds ratio of 0.5. So our Medineuron NTD soft gel which is taken once daily after meal, it contains DHA 200 mg and L-methylfolate 1 mg, pyridoxal phosphate 0.5 mg, methylcobalamine 1500 microgram and vitamin D3 which is 2000 international units. It has a very important role in neuronal development of the baby as well as it prevents a high risk involving preeclampsia and preterm birth. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your patient listening.